We know. You can see. All the original architecture of this building is more like a European style architecture. Yeah. Let's uh, find out the old summary of the traditional Tommy Yoka salt mills. And it's the during Meiji period they came up with this first model of the silk reeling factory in Japan. Almost goes back to 140 years. And there we go. Roof tiles. Yeah. A great experience to be had. The mills are fascinating. They gave lots of architectural feeling as well as the silk was used during the for royal um, screens and so on and so forth so yes there are lots of royal mills or oh, the royal um, um, palaces use silk uh, screens to either decorate or partition rooms that are large. Original mills are now decommissioned. <laughs> Incredible amount of precision and historical artifacts here. Look at the size of this mill. Enormous how the silk has been picked up from there and then pulled. Amazing, don't you think the technology at the time where humans were able to come up with such complex and complicated operating arms with the known knowledge at the time they had, they were able to achieve this and use animals to, or at least a silkworm, to process from a, a creepy crawly to something one of the most expensive fabrics that you were able to find in the world. automated it and what was done by hand somebody came up with a formula to unravel using machines at a faster speed and then These machines start working in early 1930s and decommissioned in 1982. What I can say is that it's an amazing engineering marvel that existed for almost 50 years and fantastic advances have then further reduced the need of 
these bulk machines to process and uh, transfer silkworms and silk production into far more advanced methodology and smaller these brushes would have given that extra looseness in the actual silk worm for the, the thread to actually get unraveled and then it's picked up and hooked onto the spool. It's the director's house and the mail. From Japan have come to understand about the silks. Yes, folk. All the silk screens came about from here. And they produce all these amazing silk lattice screens that you see. For the homes, for the palaces, for castles, and so on and so forth. Silk mills of Tomioka in Guma Prefecture. The climate was right. The silk and the worms were able to grow around here and so on. <laughs> on the back. And, uh, and then those ones to the far side is the dormitory for female workers and we've got the East Cocoon Warehouse and the West Cocoon Warehouse with the water tank that produced the heat and steam boiler plants were supplying the water across the actual the cocoon, cocoon warehouse to try and do the reeling and re-reeling houses were beside it え、怖いわ。ちょっと、ちょっと。ちょっと、ちょっと。ちょっと、ちょっと。ちょっと、ちょっと。ちょっと、ちょっと。ちょっと、ちょっと。ちょっと、ちょっと。ちょっと、ち
all required water and in the old days it was easy to run down on the river all the transportation on a float or on a boat before the road infrastructure was possible and advances that made the humans mobile uh, over land rather than water uh, faster speeds as the river run down and it was difficult to come up since it requires more effort to go upstream than to go downstream I say going down is easy going up was difficult so the roads were one of those um, infrastructure projects that came along with transportation so yes water had always been the rivers the seas the lakes and uh, channels have always been a mode of transport for long periods of time and where men and women were mobilized to different areas. Tomoyaki um, in Guma prefecture mm. and we have a top professional photographer. Mm. Are you using <laughs> hazard blade? Ah, not no. uh, Japanese. Four by five. Oh, four by oh. Gina. Gina. It's a Japanese uh, brand. Yes. Yeah, no, no, no. This is the East Cocoon factory. That's where they process the very first stage of the silk process. So the dormitories for the French female instructors. And that's a main factory. Tomoyaki Silk Factory, uh, where they produce silk with the help of knowledge from Europeans, such as French. It's a combined, united effort that can make the humans thrive with the best currently available knowledge and technology and methodology. That's what we need to promote. Look at this flower bed with a great amount of detail. They have managed to produce a beautiful spectra of colors and color waves on here, just like your self woven fabrics or the silk screens that are on display at palaces, castles, and amazing places. There's the original products. Oh, look at that. So, there's the cocoons, and that's what you get. Yeah, that's the end result. So thread, that's how you, the current ones, it's current measurements. So you've got all the silks onto the spools and end up on this floor for the weaving mill. Fantastic architecture. Right? Fascinating architecture. Yes, I can express so many things about the architecture and engineering, but I don't have much memory on this sad prospect there, right? Yes. All the apparatus used for silk work. Iron water tank just there, and the fresh water that would have been pumped into the iron water tank to be supplied into the boiler room. And the boiler room is powered by coal, and then that's the chimney for that. There you go. Oh, look at these old methods. What it was, the old days, with what they understood to a degree. This is a water tank, just a, a pipe, axis beam, 
left wow. out to I show how it was yeah. or what it is. I tell you, the heat of this water tank is already radiating onto me. It's only about 15, 16 degrees, just imagine. The water would have been already boiled in the summer. And in the winter, it's a different story. So all of those calculations has to come into play when you're actually working with all different types of temperature to try and manage the pressure for working out the um, uh, pressure-driven devices of the mill. Yeah, I mean, I could talk for hundreds of years of different methodologies and practices that have been used, and by looking at it, all I can understand and share is just this brief description of what I can uh, express to you. I mean, if somebody's interested, please talk to me whenever you wish to. Uh, all subjects are interest to me, and hence why I'm here, chasing along the history and science and methodologies of the world and its existence. Way of doing things. Here we go. Just again to see they've been propped up on a, um, what it calls, these stones, stone pillars that have been erected to hold on to this so they could have access from a, uh, below as well as to give access to water pipes so that under gravity the water can flow from a higher level to a lower level to the pump room and then work its way around it. See, ingenuity of man from old known knowledge put together to arrive at a given set of circumstances to devise and derive a methodology to produce something that was uniquely special. Methodology and methodology from 1875. What do you think? 1875. The gentleman there. Uh, gave me this and I was so fortunate I think they're I mean if you're kind to people people are kind to you yes it's important to be nice people to people this is given to me free explained by the gentleman just there standing one of the staff here at the mill oh, fantastic There you go. Factory grounds were full of life.